Get the video you crave at CNETV.com. Wow, it's a very special cupcake edition of the 404 oh. this morning. I'm Jeff Bacalar. <laughs> I was dead. And I'm Justin Yu. And this is the show where we're getting review units of Kenley's Palm Pre. Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. I like that touch yeah. screen on it, too. Very sensitive touch screen. Our good friend Kenley's on the show again today. What's going on, Kenley? How are you? I am, uh, I'm great, actually. Why so are, are we not using flow anymore? I thought we were, uh, we're giving you a well, nickname. I, I think, think when they come I'm not, when they I'm, not, I'm not with heavy. Yeah, I know. When we come together. Yeah. Then it's heavy and flow. An amazing when you duo. come together, it's heavy and flow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good show title. Yeah. So it's we true. had a very special surprise this morning. Uh, cupcakes were well, delivered to yes. our studio thanks to our good friend <laughs> and listener, Jessica. Jessica Aldape. She is not our... Sh- that, this is not the first time oh, she sent is, us food. Hold on. She Hold also sent us a you. bunch of candy uh, before yeah, as like well. Yeah, like Because she couldn't come yeah. to the meetup. Come yes. to think of it, she spent way too <laughs> much money on a lot of money. Well, oh my god. Either way, we really appreciate the very These cupcakes are no <laughs> shitty cupcakes either. They're from Magnolia Bakery. Yeah. Which, um, which is not is probably, cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap, but they're very good. <laughs> they look wow. delicious. So thank you, Jessica. Really appreciate that. You're like the team mom of the 404. Seriously. Always baking us snacks. I think you're starting candy. a movement, too. Let's hopefully uh, get some more cupcakes. Yeah, we're not going to deny you if you send us food. So. She's and if you, if you send it if you to arrive at le- about 11, then perfect, you get on-air promo. Right. That's unbelievable. That the timing perfect. of that is... is is remarkable. Yeah, well, she sent it amazing. because you were having such a bad day two days ago. Yeah, that, I guess that's true. When the devil's lost, and then you were having a bad day yesterday, yeah, Wilson. Yeah. I mean, this is like the greatest thing. This has totally cheered up my whole week. Like, yeah. came into the office kind of a little bummed this morning, too. But, right. right. But this is awesome. It this is, is very great. nice. It's a very nice gesture. We really thank Jessica for all of her nice... Uh, Big time. Uh, little gifts there. It's awesome. It's cheering me up because I had a really crazy night. Yeah, kind explain of a what happened. Here. Night. Oh, so what happened? Like, so okay, your... I know that yes, people are getting really tell. sick of hearing about swine flu, right? Uh-huh. But this is the last time because I actually had a personal experience with it last night. So I'm sleeping, right? With a For... pig. <laughs> but that was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was sleeping next with, to Babe with a vial of swine flu. Right. Me and Babe were cuddling, and all of a sudden I get a phone call. It's my sister at four in the morning, right? Oh man! Uh-oh. And this is the scary part. She had been on vacation in Cancun for the last week. Uh oh! Cancun, Mexico, for the last week. She calls me up and she's like, "Dude, I need mom's phone number right now." Don't ask me why she didn't have her own mother's phone. Right? Yeah. So that we can address that later, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so she didn't have the phone number. She's like, "Dude, I need mom's phone number. I'm really sick. I don't feel good. I'm like puking everywhere and oh stuff." Oh my god! And I think uh... I have swine flu. <laughs> Oh like, you know what? But it's particularly scary. You know, yeah. normally I would dismiss it. You know, um, as like. But she know. was in Cancun. But right. she was actually in Mexico, and that's she had to come back. And that's yesterday. where all those but kids in Queens got it from. Right, too. exactly. And so she was really scared. Um, what ended up happening is she called my mom, and then she called the doctor. It's funny because when you normally call the doctor's office, they don't care, right? You yeah. just talk right. to a nurse. This right. time, apparently, a doctor literally like got up from bed and was the like, "FBI you came, need- didn't yeah, <laughs> like a bunch of people in hazmat suits like <laughs> descended on our house." No, it was it was wild, but I think it might just be the stomach flu. It's not uh-huh. the official well, swine well, flu. Well, here's the thing: like, who goes to Mexico and doesn't get sick? So that's <laughs> yeah, gonna yeah, be like okay, a really right? huge problem <laughs> to sort <laughs> through. Like, that's true. Who's just regular dirty Mexico sick? <laughs> oh! Like, well, no, you shouldn't drink the water. The water is dirty. Well, the water is dirty. They, they tell on. you not to have the I don't mean like the people the or the place, but the people the have been getting swine flu in Mexico for decades now. People just didn't have a name for it. Yeah. But that's kind of scary, you know. Like, so what they just called it Mexico flu? That would be so messy. Oh, no. God. Well, then they try to call it, yeah, they called it the Mexican flu. El swine. No, to, to, <laughs> I mean, no offense, but to appease the Israelis. Really? Yeah, no, because, uh, uh, what are you no offensing? Well, yeah, no, what are, in, I mean, in the Israel, Jews they didn't the, want the it to be called the swine flu. Yeah, because right. if you got the swine flu, it'd be like, like you having, kosher. yeah, the something pig in right. you. Ooh, well, I guess it does redefine kosher, this yeah. whole epidemic. But so, the, so one of the health ministers called it the Mexican flu, and that offended Oh, Mexico, yeah. too. Right. So. But talk about bad timing, though. Could you imagine a worse time to go to Mexico right now? She told uh, me she was going to Cancun. I was like, really? Yeah. Wait, wait. So she knew that there was, like, a possible pandemic starting in Well, Mexico. I think she bought tickets a while ago. Uh-huh. Still went after uh, this was happening. That's a risk you got to take. That's I something yeah, I, I mean, probably wouldn't do. I mean, you get your deposit down. I don't know. You got to take know. that risk, right? Just don't talk to anybody. Wear that mask. 
Yeah. I don't know, Jeff, you were telling me a story this morning about how don't your friend was in anybody. the emergency room. Yeah, I had a friend. I mean, this really just goes to show you uh, it's a great uh, display of the idiocy of today. Right. <laughs> but are you like, calling uh, her, Yeah, what are you calling sister my sister an idiot? An idiot? No, yeah. your sister clearly has a reason to be concerned. One, she was in Mexico. Two, yeah. she has the symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend was in the ER because uh, he was he was having shortness of breath. He wasn't worried. He didn't think he had swine flu. He was just like, oh, man. Right. I might be having a heart attack. Yeah. Or something. Oh I, I can't breathe. So I think he, this he, might he, be he an was, issue. It was after a lot of strenuous activity. So he's in the ER, uh -huh. and he walks into the thing, and there's literally, it's 11.30 p.m., mind you. Right. Okay? Uh -huh. And there's literally 50 people in there, all with face, face, masks, face masks on, right. thinking they all had swine flu. Uh, okay? <laughs> all with pig's heads. All right? <laughs> yeah. so, pig's heads. So my buddy walks up to the front desk at the ER, and the nurse behind the counter is not wearing a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, what's going on? She's like, all these idiots think they have swine flu. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and my uh, friend is like, uh, all right, well, you're not wearing a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask. Uh-huh. It's so, funny because you yeah. can't even it's cough all... in a subway car without everybody just scattering and freaking out now. Yeah. It's, it's, you know really, what I mean? it's really bad. The, the deal with the flu normally is like there's not really a lot of treatment. So right. I feel like yeah. going to the hospital is probably not your best case scenario to help right. anybody. It's yeah. more like your best case scenario to infect everybody. Yeah. Right? I mean, you really just can't leave your house if you really do think you have a swine well, flu. You, but, right? Like I'm not even sure what, what the... They're asking people to take like Tamiflu now, right? Yeah. yeah. It's working yeah. on some people. Supposedly there's a right. vaccine, right? Uh, well, they're working on the vaccine help. and i was actually listening yesterday to the radio that they're they're thinking about making everybody take the flu vaccine no. come september i'm not taking what? it yeah. no i refuse to i'm take not that. taking it i'm not taking it i'll take Would my chances take i'll take um, my chances with a flu it, oh. <laughs> I would be more concerned considering that, like, they keep on saying that everybody up until now, like, there was that baby, like, two days ago, but up until now, right. everybody who has died mm. has been in their 20s. Right. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and change my... Yeah. Well, the reason that happens is because <laughs> I need that swine flu ASAP. Since, since there's been, you know, uh, the human body can't react to swine flu, can't right. really defend it. What happens is people who are healthy and have really good immune systems, their immune system overreacts, and that's right. what kills you. It's not because you're, you're you know, you're... It's too strong. You're it's just you're too, too strong. strong. The fear... <laughs> really what it is. The it's fear, true. though, is really the biggest problem, right? Like, yeah. my sister was telling me that she was on the plane, right? and was they thought Was she starting to that, feel sick then? No, they thought somebody on the plane had swine flu, uh, oh. not her, and so they had to touch and they down. Almost, and they almost killed that person. They right? did. So <laughs> they, like, they, they threw him out. They immediately threw that person out of the yeah. moving plane. No, what happened was they touched down in an area that was before their destination, uh -huh. and they had to escort this woman Ugh. off. But it was even more me messed up because a bunch of guys in like hazmat suits and uh -huh. face masks actually had to come on. Oh. Meanwhile, none of the other passenger passengers had face masks on. Oh. Right. And it was like, right. um, so it's sort of like, you people are already screwed. We're going to touch down to get this woman yeah. off the plane after you've already exactly. been in the air with her virus. Right, and so they took her off, and then they continued to their destinations. Yeah. It was very bizarre. So what is the current consensus on your sister right now? Okay, the consensus is that she has every Every symptom of swine flu other than the cough. Okay. Right? So oh. she's thinking that it might just be some kind of stomach flu that she can sleep off in like a day or so. And also from the way it sounded, like it sounded like uh, she, you know, she doesn't have a flu. You know, when you have the flu, you feel like achy and flu. Yeah. Like she feels like she's just got a stomach thing going on. Right, That's how right. it sounds like. She gave birth to a pig. <laughs> uh, so that so might be. Yeah. That's all yeah. normal though. Right. right. That's it's totally like normal. like some mutation <laughs> stuff. The bottom line is if you think you have swine flu, go to this website and check. It's www.do. <laughs> I have the swine flu dot com. <laughs> Do I have the swine flu dot com? That is this will give a, is you a joke yeah. or this is an that's actual, real, man. Okay. If you that will give you definitive this a definitive answer about whether or not you have it. This sounds like so the check most it out. real recommendation. Yeah, Jeff, you want to cut to my screen here? Yeah. This is Do I have the swine flu dot com? No. <laughs> and the answer is no. In parentheses, no. stop worrying. That's all. You yep, know, I've Dr. seen Justin the I've you. seen the opposite Thank of you. that as well. I've seen a site that says. Uh, Yes. yes, panic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I've yes, seen, kill yourself. It's a red background with black text. It's like, yes, time to panic. Uh, so take it for what it's worth. It's over. All right. It's over. Let's, let's move, move on. on. No yeah, more seriously. swine flu talk. God, I, oh, oh, this man. pissing well, me let's, off. And let's I, hope if I hear that... Sanjay Gupta one more time, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here looking at the pig that has swine flu. Dude, he, it's he pig zero. Been, it's pig zero. He could have been Surgeon already. General, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and now people are, I'm sorry, we can keep talking about this, but now people are saying that it's a conspiracy made by the government to, uh, I don't know, to have genocide, I guess. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, that too. They say it's a conspiracy by the government or by a medical company that released oh, the drug. the Tamiflu company, maybe. That's we, different I, from the government. I'm yeah. going to say that like a pharmaceutical company is drastically different from 
the government. Right. Well, I mean, let's. And that's come on. definitely not the case, though. I'm pretty sure that was a storyline from Resident actually, Evil. The, the and V for Vendetta. <laughs> and V for Vendetta. The thing that's yeah. been pissing me off is actually them blaming the the spread of the epidemic on illegal immigration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. It's like I the border you, police. If you made it through the desert. Over two weeks with, yeah. just, with just the, yeah. the, the clothes on your back and yeah. a bottle of water. And now right. you have Probably. a cold. <laughs> you're, the pro- you're the reason yeah. why this country yeah. is going down this No, show. it's definitely not spring break in Cancun. <laughs> no, definitely do not. That. Do not think that. Oh, man. Wouldn't that bad? Do would, not think white people are to blame. You know what, though? Would it really be a bummer if all those MTV people down there were, like, you know, stuck in Cancun and couldn't come back? <laughs> That's a good honest, conspiracy. You know? I would kind of be down with that. Yeah. Uh, let's move along. Uh, this is from our own uh, blog, Crave. Yep. We're talking about a Radio Shack employee that was charged with punching a customer. Now, usually I don't take the side of the Radio Shack employee, <laughs> right? but I've been in one of these establishments so, uh, before. I, I when read this did earlier. Chris, yeah. Did Chris get that from my Twitter? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did you do that? Let's explain the story. Did you get punched in the face? Is that why you... Yeah, exactly. That <laughs> is why I look like this. All right, so the story is that a guy goes into Radio Shack, tries to return something, And the employee, (laughs) this 52-year-old employee, would not let him return it for one reason or or another. And the guy just starts freaking out, asks for a manager, right, completely flips out, starts punching the (laughs) customer. (laughs) Meanwhile, this is a 52-year-old male employee. I can't imagine how much damage this guy could have done. But he apparently got taken away by the cops and uh, arrested. Yeah, or well, just, you know. Well, no, he, that's assault. I mean, but it's I mean, definitely yeah, assault, but, but I mean, come one on. one of those things you're not supposed to do. But Who hasn't gone into a radio shack and uh, had to talk to this completely inept employee and just c- seriously considered maybe punching this guy out? <laughs> no, well, I'll keep that around. Who has gone into a radio shack? That's true. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> you really Good have point. to take it for what it's worth, though, because I've been in a radio shack where people ask some pretty upsetting questions. <laughs> yeah. About, <laughs> about <laughs> HDMI cables. Yeah. How about to plug things. in your Nintendo. Yeah. About, yeah. like, does this need batteries? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a plug. You know, like, a lot of stuff like that. And I kind of am um, siding with the Radio Shack employee yeah. on this. But like, can I return this shirt? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sir, we don't sell that we don't here. Sell shirts yeah. here. <laughs> what about this, though, as well? Like, might this answer the mystery of how Radio Shack is still in business? You're just not allowed to return anything. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't work? What do you mean? And we've Punch talked about this on the show before. Why would anybody go into Radio Shack? <laughs> no, time out. Radio Shack, I really have no problem no, with Radio Shack. No, I have a Shack. big no. problem with it. No, well, no one knows I, what they're talking I'm, about That's there. fine, but I'm if kidding. you're going they into Radio have Shack. Some cool stuff. Yeah, like they're RC everywhere. cars. All, the, all they sell there are radio controlled cars. You notice that? <laughs> yeah, but dude, Radio <laughs> no, Shack is. Great and wires. Stuff, if you need too. a cell phone cord, like yeah. a charger, you're That's good. That's the thing. They, there's a reason they call it Radio Hack. I mean, like, you can pretty much build whatever you, you want. You can build a right. bomb from everything inside Well, of why don't you take it to the next level there, yeah. guy? But <laughs> yeah. I wasn't saying that, but you could really much no, do I mean, whatever you want. No, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. That they used to have, like, rocket <laughs> kits in there. They did. They used to sell, yeah. like, little rocket engines. Right. In there. Yeah. I, don't, no, I just no. don't understand how they're still making money in this economy. No, they have some legit CE. I'm going to back them up a little bit. It's yeah. very fun to make fun of them, but they have, like, cell phones and MP3 the, players. The, the like only that. people I ever see there. everywhere. And they buy ads on CNET.com. No, the only people I actually ever see there are or engineers or like IT people right. who like need a Cat5 cable or yeah. like a, some random resistor. When you need a red LED light <laughs> and a transistor at 4 in the morning, where else are you going to go? Yes, of course. Seriously. Radio Shack, 24 hour. <laughs> Places you're not going to go include Circuit City. Yeah. Yep, well, so. Circuit no gone. one's going to Circuit yeah, City. So. <laughs> so there you go. Radio Shack. Let's done. move along. Um, this is weird. Uh, this comes from a reporter named Justin Yu. Oh, <laughs> oh very yeah. bizarre. Are. Justin, you blogged about this on Wednesday. Mm. Uh, headline, Mysterious Superhero uh, Surfaces Strikes Fear into the Hearts of No One. <laughs> so That's right. This is a story out of Cincinnati. The story actually aired on their TV station. Apparently, this guy has surfaced calling himself the... Um, the Wait, what was super it? Hair yeah, that's right, the super hair. That's right, the super hair. He started calling himself the super hair. He's this 21 year old super, self professed superhero. Okay. That picture of him is pretty awesome, by the way. Wandering the streets of Cincinnati on foot, in costume, battling crime. Yeah. A Has real he caught life anybody? Superhero. No, as Please matter, get him on the show. I wow. need to. Look at him with his fist clenched. Yeah, like he's, that. Got, a, he's he got a full on mask and a cape and a costume, and he's going around. Defending women, children. Are you and sure anyone else. this isn't you? Like, this is this actually, guy is like really skinny. Man. Yeah, I know we share the same body type. It's actually a little girl. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is pretty funny. Real life superheroes. It's and, pretty good. And he's not the only one. 
there's this group of people calling themselves the Allegiance of Heroes. Man, you can find their uh, MySpace. I highly recommend checking out the, the blog post right. and watching that video because there is sort of a uh, cheer they do that is priceless. Right, it's and great. everyone needs to see that because it is some sorry, sorry stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know what? My number one beef with this is, come on, shadow hair? Really? You're going to choose yeah. hair that as... The, yeah. the, that South Park episode. A couple yeah, of yeah, like... Yeah, let's <laughs> not say what <laughs> like, that was. Though. The menacing tortoise? Is yeah, that next? The menacing yeah. tortoise. Like, come on. Shadow hair? No, there's there's yeah. these other guys called Ecliptico in Pennsylvania. There's another guy called Wall Creeper in Colorado. <laughs> and Mr. Extreme in California. I Man. thought uh, Ecliptico, is, I think. Is this yeah. mystery men in real cool. life? No, these guys can't even solve crimes. Apparently, this guy actually broke his arm trying to save a woman from yeah, getting raped. He did. Oh. He actually broke Wait, his arm. That's, but did he save her? No. He no. didn't save her. The, the, yeah, yeah, the woman still She was murdered, from... actually. Was no. Oh, that, come on. And that's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh good joke, Jeff. Oh. Thanks. No, it's, oh. funny. it's even funnier because this guy is on foot. He doesn't even have a car. So, I mean, if you <laughs> saw this guy walking down the street. Does he have a bicycle, like, maybe? The shadow hair mobile? Or yeah, there's no shadow hair. Like, helicopter. Signal. There's no hair signal. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the hair signal. You'd think well, that if you were trying to strike fear into the hearts of criminals, <laughs> you wouldn't choose shadow you hair. You, you wouldn't choose, like, a wabbit. And beef up a little bit. Come on. Start yeah, pumping. This look really skinny. Start man. juicing or something. I think anybody could take him, to be honest. I yeah. think that old lady could have taken him. Yeah, sweet leotard, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and doesn't the uh, Wolverine movie come out today? That's right. Speaking oh. of superheroes. The Wolverine movie does so, come out. So today. now that I know that you got an advanced screening. No, no, know, my friend Dustin got Dustin an advanced got screening. Dustin got advanced screening. Thanks it. to the movie coming out on BitTorrent. Did you hear about that, Kenley? Mm, I did, actually. So, yeah, I mean, the movie actually comes out today. So yeah. if you guys want to see the actual finished CGI, go and check it out. Every but, advanced review I've read has said that this movie is the, the crap. Oh, it's like, terrible. The absolute, like, it's the worst Superhero movie. If you're actually like a Wolverine fanboy, you're going to be crapping all over this movie. You know what's funny? I can't believe that you were explaining things about it because you had heard. Yeah. And, uh, man, they really just don't care. No. no, It's they, clear that they just don't care. They just picked apart all the storylines. None of the or It's funny they call it X-Men Origins because none of the origins are true it's to the accurate, comic. Yeah. And there's characters that aren't in the comic. They have skewed uh, powers and stuff. They should have just called bizarre. it the new origin right. of Wolverine. I, I'm looking wow, at the... I like how upset you are. Like, you're not... It's not about the movie. You're like, they were not authentic. No, I mean, it's a big deal. I, I was really looking forward to Gambit being portrayed on the big screen. You know, they got Gambit Gambit was the one that I always wanted to see in the X-Men movies. Yeah. I'm looking at a Slate headline right now. It says... Short, angry, hairy, Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> is Wolverine the worst superhero movie ever? Yeah. It's really No, upsetting. I think Catwoman is, but anyway, we'll it's let not, the jury you know, decide. It's not, is it it's Catwoman not. bad? Like, did you ever see Catwoman? I never saw Catwoman. No, Catwoman, though, was not based on Catwoman from the comic book no, series. No. That's, that's the thing. Oh, it's just upsetting because it's really difficult. You yeah. know, to mess up Wolverine. He's like the coolest superhero. <laughs> and they somehow screwed it up. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, calls from the public and some more stories here with Kenley today. So make sure you stick around. We'll see you in a second. This is the 404 Emmer Effers, the show where we all sing songs. Hi, this is Jasmine France. And Donald Bell. From the MP3 Insider Podcast. Where we talk about all the latest portable audio news and gadgets. So if you want to know when your iPod is past its prime. What headphones block out screaming babies on planes. And why digital music services are so darn confusing. Subscribe to the MP3 Insider Podcast at podcast.cnet.com. Hello, my name is Michael and I'm calling from Kansas. And you're listening to 404, where you don't own a cat, the cat owns you. <laughs> what? Whoa. What does that even mean? What it means to... cats suck. <laughs> <laughs> but it means... Oh, God, fortune. Watch out, watch out for cat flu coming to a world near you. <laughs> no. What happened to Kenley? Kenley, Kenley had to leave. <laughs> she was not having enough fun on the show. So. Dude, what? Why? Kenley we... left. Look Did at that. Did you really have to crawl <laughs> under the table again? <laughs> Kenley yeah, I think that was the last one. She's gone. <laughs> She's literally gone. The ghost of Kenley. No, she had some work uh, to do, so she had to locomote. But uh, that's cool. Well, thanks, uh, Kenley, for coming on the show. That was yeah. a lot of fun. That's what happens on Friday, though, at the 404. It's it's nonstop chaos. We got cupcakes here. Thanks to our friend Jessica. Kenley's leaving. She didn't even take a cupcake with her. I know. You know. Oh, we'll, we'll bring it. Over. We'll give her one later. Right now, though, you know what time it is. Calls from time the public. Time to show the love. <laughs> Eight six six four zero four CNET. Four zero four. Smashed it out of the ballpark. <laughs> you did, man. It's funny because nice. you're like, you know what time it is, and that's when you really stop. Right. But you were like, calls from the public. Calls from the public, yeah. <laughs> well, we got some good ones today. Calls though, from right? the public time, sponsored by a bunch of cupcakes. 
Uh, we have plenty to talk about today. Yeah, some about my refurbished laptop, I hope. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, and uh, first off, this is very interesting. Someone sent us uh, the best of the 404 Volume 1. Ooh, really? Really. Oh, I haven't. Hey, what's up, Fall Flow crew? This is Old Mark in Florida. Uh, I was listening to yesterday's show, and a lady, uh, Rochelle from Jamaica, called in about one a um, a clip album or something like that for for the uh, funny funny moments of the Fall Flow. Mm. Well, um, actually, I have already done that. I mean, I I've had it for a while though. It's amazing. And I was going to enter it as you know my submission in a possible upcoming contest <laughs> that we have so, not made yet. But anyway, forget <laughs> that. I already sent it. Uh, I tried to send it via Gmail. That didn't work out, so I sent it via. So, yeah, he sent us literally like six or seven clips that he personally likes. Really? And we have them now. So, I mean, we I don't know what we can do with this. Maybe we can just set it to go live over the weekend or yeah, something? Yeah, no, Ooh. we can definitely use it for like some kind of like, promotion know? or something yeah, like that. Yeah, totally. It's, it's and we'll, a, you know, we'll figure... So we've got... I've got a whole office full of crap that I can send you. Yeah, yeah definitely. for sure. Literally. Um, Omar, let us know if you have a Nintendo Wii. And if you do, you might be happy. Oh, that's so let cool. us know. Write us in. Call what are some us, of the clips that he shows? Just curious. Uh, there was one about the languages. There's, some of them go pretty far back. Uh, yeah. Languages, the NASCAR with the Chinese guy lost at the racetrack. Oh, right. That was <laughs> what are one. you doing here, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you know one of those things? Yeah. You don't speak English. <laughs> How are you looking at all these cars here with them <laughs> tiny little eyes? Oh, like that. Open your eyes, son. son. You can't see the rice. Pit crew's gonna walk all over you. We don't sell rice cakes here, boy. <laughs> no real. <laughs> oh god. Uh, all right. Oh. So we got uh, we got that. We really appreciate that. That took a lot of time, clearly, and we uh, we really appreciate the effort and commitment to the 404. Definitely. So we now we have a few calls from people who have had experiences with Apple refurbs. Hmm. Hey guys, this is Tom from New York calling. I was listening to your uh, most recent episode. You had a question about the uh, whether or not refurbished Apple products were good. Um, I actually only buy refurbished Apple products because it's a pretty good cost savings. Mm. Um, I know from dealing with the geniuses that we here in, in my local area that they're you know, they're really on top of those types of things. Yeah. Plus, if you get Apple Care, yeah, that's um, the key. Refurbished or not, um, it's pretty much the best warranty going. So. Yeah. It's true. No, he's right. That that warranty is unbelievable. Oh, Apple Care is great. If you Except drop it, you, you do you, something to your laptop, right? And then if, yeah, but then you sort of say you didn't. If you end up yeah. detopping your own laptop, yeah. then they probably wouldn't take that back, right? Uh, another uh, laptop call. Hey guys, this is Tony from Kansas City. Just thought I'd call about um, the refurbished Apple products. My laptop is refurbished. I've had it for about two years now. There you go. Um, more like three, maybe even soon. Um, <laughs> Let me check my receipt. Anyway, I've also got like I've ref I've gotten refurbished iPods before and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, generally, there's no problems. I've had a motherboard failure on my laptop one time, but I'm oh. pretty sure that was my fault. <laughs> All right, I probably shouldn't have microwaved my laptop, but <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> left it uh, out in the sun for seven days. Yeah, you know what? I was actually doing some research yesterday. Thanks to everyone that uh, sent in their opinions. Um, but you know, it seems like it's pretty responses. legit. Yeah, yeah and you know what? I got news. I actually bought a laptop yesterday. I you bought did. the refurbished oh, good for uh, you. two gigahertz MacBook. Nice. And it was only eleven hundred dollars. That's compared nice. to like thirteen ninety nine or whatever they so retail. I'm gonna try not to piss you off right now, but apparently oh, no. there is a very strong rumor that Apple is going to release a new not a new line, but drop the prices. What? On their Macs and MacBooks. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm looking at it right now! You're not. No, come on. Seriously? Uh, 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 Apple Insider. Apple to introduce more affordable Macs, sources say. Wait, wow. more affordable Macs meaning new models that are cheaper Maybe or either, they're going to lower the price? They don't know yet. I mean, because right now, like, the iMacs and both the MacBook are probably due you for, like, a refresh. Son of a they're due. They're due for a high a little refresh. A processor. Oh, upgrade. that is upsetting. And they already shipped it, too. I can't cancel it. <laughs> You it's know already what? over. Hey, come on. Sometimes... I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm no, just saying... you know, I'm not that mad. That's the way, uh, that's the way it works, that's man. That's the way yeah. technology always you know, goes. You can't, you can't, it's that... By the time you get it, it's already obsolete. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. And I'm not mad Don't about that. Don't worry about it. Worry about people driving lawnmowers while they're listening to 404. Oh, God, here <laughs> okay, we go. Okay, this is Ryan from Alvern, Pennsylvania. I was just calling to let you guys know what happened to me today. I was um, mowing my lawn, as I do when the, uh, when the grass starts growing. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. It looks like a pretty busy road, and, uh, you know... Well, I'm pretty loud, but I got some big headphones, so I was listening to some old podcasts of 404, you know, catching up with old times. 
And uh, you guys still were able to catch me off guard, and I'm sitting there cracking up laughing as I'm mowing the lawn. <laughs> and uh, not really paying attention to what oh, I'm doing. Oh, God. This and, uh, well, I basically uh, drove the uh, lawnmower right into the street and almost got myself run over by a couple <laughs> cars. <laughs> <laughs> I almost was like a car pile up. Uh, oh, God. It was pretty scary. I uh, had to lie down for a little while after that. Lie down? <laughs> Just so you guys should know that uh, you're killing people. <laughs> you guys suck. What the hell? Can you imagine that headline? Man causes 10 car pile up with lawnmower. <laughs> While listening to some obscure podcast. <laughs> Please pay attention when you're operating heavy machinery. While I was going to say, this is definitely needs to come with a disclaimer now. Oh, God. Don't what? listen to the 404 <laughs> while operating heavy machinery. I mean, it's bad machinery. to happen. Didn't someone already get into a car accident? Yeah, yeah, someone fell asleep and, and uh, started laughing and they woke up. and Somebody, like, Someone yeah. fell asleep, started laughing, and then woke up? Yeah, they started, <laughs> fell asleep. They were listening to the podcast, woke up, started laughing, and almost got into a car accident. <laughs> I, I, I believe someone was listening to the 404 when uh, someone rear-ended them, too. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably another 404 listener. Uh, oh, some more God, calls. that's scary. Oh, God. Be careful out there. Yeah, 404. This is uh, Veronica Belmont. <laughs> well, not that one, but anyway. Your name's Veronica. Just wanted to remind all the geeks out there that uh, Saturday is free comic book day. What? Whoa. So Justin can go pick up some comics he's not going to read. Wilson can pick up a comic <laughs> that one of his friends is going to make into a movie. <laughs> and Jeff can, uh, I don't know, get a NASCAR comic. Or <laughs> That's it. Hate the show. Veron so I don't even understand. Does that mean comic book stores everywhere are going to be giving out free books? I don't what? know. I have no idea. What like, that and what was up with the whole that? like Veronica Belmont thing? That's, that's the, maybe his name. That's, that's like having a free food day. Like who's going <laughs> to participate in that? It's weird. Uh, remember our buddy who supposedly sold Wheelman? Yeah. Turns oh, out God. something else happened. Hey, what's up, 404? This is Christian from Browntown again, calling with a little admission. I have not been listening to your show for the past week. Not for lack of interest, I've just been taking a very boring college course, which I've learned absolutely nothing from. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'd also <laughs> like to clear the air. I did not, in fact, sell Wheelman for the 360. It's still in my possession. It's still wasting away, just like Vin Diesel's career. <laughs> now, I have two points for you guys. The this first one's a little sad, and the second one you might find interesting, especially you, Mr. Justin Yu. First point... Uh, I am Sally from Brown Town, and I've explained to you guys where that is, but not your listeners. I'm actually from Brownsville, Texas. That's Ooh, right. That right, Brownsville, right Texas, across that's the border. Mentioned in the news. Unfortunately, oh. it's very tragic. A 22-month-old baby from Man. here died of the swine flu. Oh wow! Uh, it says that he was flown to Houston and, and uh, passed away in Houston, but he was from Brownsville. So hopefully, you guys are doing okay over there. I know there was a few. Uh, Recorded cases over there in New York too. It's too real, man. Doesn't he have an East Coast accent? How is I he don't from know where Texas? he's that from. That was like I thought it was a Jersey, like yeah. Interestingly kind of. yeah, enough, like, yeah, yo, uh, I heard this twenty-two-year-old <laughs> month old baby got uh, the freaking yo, swine flu. I'm food. living What's here in the middle of Texas. Hey, take it easy with the swine flu, asshole. <laughs> you know what's funny? Not so like Christian. Texas. So the, that message goes on for another four minutes, and then right. I, I joke you're not. He left another voicemail even longer, <laughs> five minutes. So he was talking to us ten minutes on on voicemail. Well, what what yeah. else did he have to say? He just kind of reiterated the story and again, and you know we appreciate the call. Just keep it maybe down to under a minute. Right? Yeah, so you can play your whole. <laughs> but program. thanks again, and uh, hopefully that uh, Wheelman is working out as a great coaster for you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, last voicemail. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Hey, what's up, four four? This is Jason Howell, the <laughs> other Jason Howell, like the one that works at CNET. And I was just listening to uh, Balls Maximus uh, call and, you know, break the good news about his son. I was thinking, uh, the name, it's not too late, Justinson. J-E-F-F-S-T-I-N-S-E-N. -S -S -E all three of you guys Just wrapped up into one tight package. What do you think? Jeffson. That is a great idea, Jason. Uh, for all you guys that didn't listen to yesterday's show, our buddy Balls Maximus, a uh, faithful listener, Actually, uh, he... He's a father his, now. Yeah, he's a father. His wife gave birth um, to a son yesterday, and he gave us a call while his wife was giving birth. Yeah, his, at the it, McDonald's across the street. Right. He's like, push, honey, push. <laughs> and we suggested that maybe his name is son after us. Yeah. Why and, not? Yeah, Justin, Jeff Stinson sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> that does sound pretty it's good. It's kind of a mouthful, but I, I like it. I think it's great. Do I think it, it's man. really great. Do it. Uh, last story for the day before we say goodbye for the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about... What else? 
Twitter. Uh oh. We're talking Uh-oh. about uh, tweeting, tweeting too hard.com. Justin, explain what exactly this site is. This is a hilarious website, and thanks to the chat room for linking us to it. It's tweeting too hard.com. It's basically just a website that posts really arrogant tweets that people make <laughs> about themselves, right? So, for example, one of them is um, went to the gym this morning. As I left, everyone said that I was the best. <laughs> or oh I'm punching way above my weight and everything nightclub wise. Everything uh, except looks. I think I'm okay on that. Oh my or, god! I made it. I'm People the world's who... greatest. Yeah. So self indulgent tweets is where it's at on this website. God, I'm on here like six times. It should be called, <laughs> should be called like <laughs> tweetingdouchebags.com. Yeah, feelingmyselftweets.com. <laughs> wow, that's really upsetting. Yeah, this is this. It's kind of funny. I think they just randomly generate these and find them on. How, Twitter. Yeah. How do you exactly filter out the douchey tweet? I have no idea. You know, but that's... the funniest part of this website is that you can actually vote for the ones that you're favorite. Now you're talking. And they're actually called back pats. So you back can pat pats. someone on the back if you like their tweet. Good job, <laughs> sir. You contribute nothing to the Twitter community. You know, the only thing worse than arrogant tweets is uh, is uh, complaint tweets. Yeah. They should have that. I hate those. You know what I mean? Like, why does everyone always uh, blah, 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 like sit too close to me on the subway? Or like, blah, you know, just complaint tweets are why really Why is annoying. this line at McDonald's so long? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> What so a someone should make of, that. What a waste of bandwidth. Yeah, and this is why people. This is why Twitter really gets a bad name. Right? Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, totally. Because you, people use it for all the wrong reasons, and this is not what it's about. The idiocy of today. Right. I'll take it from uh, Burn After Reading. So be careful. So if if you're uh, posting arrogant tweets, you might end up on this website. You might get called out. Like tweeting that. too hard. And then it's com. over for you. Actually, this is really cool. I just saw this in the uh, chat room. VisibleTweets.com. Too. Uh, it's just a cool way to look at your Twitters. Like you can type in. Any keyword, mm-hmm. and it'll actually search for, uh, set like tweet twitters with that word in it, and display them in a really cool visual way. I, it's Time it's hard to show. Out. Don't they have that search function Isn't on that, Twitter yeah, already? Can't you just search Twitter normally? Yeah. No, no, no. But this is just sort of like a really cool way to just keep, uh, twitters coming in. Right. Randomly I'll bring it up internet. on the screen right now if you want to check this out. Um, I'll tweet the four oh four. And then you get like a little cloud here with everyone that's tweeted well, this about is it. That's interesting. I guess yeah. it's sort of. Uh... Too bad only one person has tweeted about the 404. <laughs> it's the same message over and over again. So yeah. they have a little graphic that comes down and displays the tweet like one minute ago or whatever. I, it's kind of cool. It's more of a novelty, I yeah, guess. Yeah, no one's actually going to use this site to find out, you know, like what people are saying on Twitter. Right. But it's pretty cool. You guys should check it out. It's visibletweets.com. Absolutely. And there's the other side of the spectrum people are actually using tw- Twitter for creative uses. It's possible. It is possible. <laughs> Apparently, it is possible. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for us That today. is going to do it. If you want to um, leave a voicemail with your favorite clips from the 404, email those to us at the404 at CNET.com. Or, yeah, you can leave a yeah. voicemail at one 404 cnet But we really want those clips because we're going to put together like a, a podcast or mm-hmm. some sort of supplemental thing. So you guys can always check out the best. And we're too lazy floor floor. to do it ourselves. Yeah, no, I'm just taking naps all day. <laughs> guys, don't forget, next week will be the premiere of the 404 on CNETTV.com. Ooh, so make sure you have a party for that and tell everyone and their mother about it. Yeah. Because this is a big deal for us. We definitely want everyone watching live who can. Yeah, and Jeff, let me give back. you a, a back pat and say that you've been doing very good on the switching. Well, thank you. Yeah, we need to give Jeff like some kind of round of applause or something Woo! like that. Just, this guy just, operates the switching and the soundboard. Just board. congratulate my third and fourth arm. Yeah. <laughs> that has somehow manifested. You know it's you can good. never take a vacation now. It's true. No, you can't do it. You're pretty much or the cornerstone of the 404. Well, hopefully next time this happens, someone can just sit by, uh, behind here and hit the buttons. Right. We'll figure it out. We'll hire a monkey to do Either it. Either way, guys, thanks everyone for listening, watching, doing what you can, being a part of the show. We really appreciate it. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be good. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Yeah. We have a lot of guests next week, so definitely want to check that out, uh, as well as the week after. Right. All kinds of guests, all kinds of fun people. So make sure you stay here, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. So everyone have a great weekend. I'm Jeff Bagelar. I'm Wilson Tang. And I'm Justin Yu. It's the 404. We will see you guys on Monday. Everyone have an awesome weekend. Later.